Hello one and all, welcome to this, my day in the life video for the freestyle wrestling at the London Olympic Games. Now, I know what a lot of you are going to expect from this video. You're going to expect <coughs> me to tell you that I'm going to the day and then see lots of video throughout the day of me in certain places on my way to the event and then afterwards. Now, sadly, I didn't take my camera. It's already happened. I've already been. The main reason I didn't take my camera was because, first of all, the the camera that I use to record these videos is a BlackBerry Playbook. It's basically a BlackBerry tablet. And I didn't really want to be carrying that all around London because London's going to be so busy with tourists, etc. It's busy anyway, but especially because of the Olympics, it's going to be, it was going to be hectic, and it was. So I thought, I don't, really want to, don't really want to carry that around because it doesn't fit in my pocket. Now, I didn't want to take a bag either. So then I thought, should I take my other camera? Then I thought, mm, if it runs out of battery, then what? And then the quality on it's a bit too rubbish, and I might have not enough time anyway. So I thought, no, I'll leave it out. I won't bother doing it because, you know, it's a bit too much hassle. I'll just come back and I'll do this video like this, and hopefully people will still enjoy it and still get the same sort of feeling out of it and not have me walking down the street going, huh? Look. I'm walking down the street, I'm just about to go into the thing, and then the next the next clip is just, hey look, I've just been to the thing, it was really, really good, just like I did last time at the TNA event, and although I do appreciate how good those videos are, because those are like in the moment, you can sort of see what's going on, it's exciting watching it. Me coming here and giving you a, a review afterwards, you can get more of a feel for it, you can get the whole story. So basically, I went to two events at the Olympics, and I'll start with the first one, just a quick recap. I went to this, which was the Olympics football semi-final, I don't know if you can read there. It was Brazil versus South Korea, we had seats all up in the second, in the higher tier, and they were in the, slightly in the corner, so... They weren't fantastic seats, but again, they weren't poor seats. It was Old Trafford. There isn't really a poor seat in the house at Old Trafford because, as much as I hate to admit it, it's an awesome stadium. You know, United fans, especially United fans with season tickets, I sort of envy you because you get to see a team who you know are going to do very well that season. You're going to see it in such a great stadium. You know, it's a great place to be. As an Arsenal fan living in Bolton, I don't get to see them much. So especially not having a season ticket, and especially since we've dropped off the pace a little bit, we try and do well to get a fourth nowadays. But anyway... Old Trafford, a great venue. Uh, Brazil versus South Korea. Brazil hammered South Korea 3-0. There was two South Koreans in our block, right in front of me, in fact. And when it got to 3-0 and around the 70-minute mark, with 20 minutes left, they decided to leave, and I just burst out laughing. I thought it was hilarious. These two guys are just like... Because they were laughing between themselves. Like, oh, ha, ha, we can't handle this anymore. This is stupid. We're, we're going to have to bite the bullet and fuck off, basically. And it was quite funny. Anyway... That was that. I went to a few uni mates and it was fantastic and I was really glad that I went to see an Olympic Games event. Now, I unboxed this a few, well, probably about a month ago now. And this is my Olympic free, women's freestyle wrestling ticket. And I told you at the time that I probably wasn't going to go because this was my brother's ticket and him and his mate were going. Well, in the end he said, no, I said, do you want to go? And I said, yeah, of course I want to go. This is an Olympic event. It'd be great. So, you know, I went along with him and again... Beforehand, I wasn't too excited about it. I was just like, yeah, whatever, cool, it's going to happen. It'll be all right. Go, actually going to the event. Actually being in London during the Olympic Games and just being, being around Stratford, which is where the Olympic Park was, or is, sorry, and just seeing all the, all the tourists around, and not just fans. When I say tourists, I mean everyone who's there. The fans, the lo the fans... The athletes, the coaches, they're all wandering around. The f One of the first people I saw when I was in there, I was in Lewis's. Is it John Lewis's shop? I always forget the name of the shop. I'm pretty sure it's John Lewis. I was in John Lewis. And I'm going up the escalator to the second floor. No, it's to the first floor. I was on the ground floor. I always, I always forget. Why. I don't know why they call it the ground floor. Why can't it just be the first floor? Anyway, I'm going up the escalator. And two steps ahead of me is this woman from Belarus and you know that because all the athletes because they got such little downtime and some of them are from poor countries that don't really have much they weren't looking around in their Olympic tracksuits their Olympic trainers all with the name from the country splattered all over it so everyone knows who they are they've got placards around the neck so they can get around easily and get easy access to places saying for example 
if it was me, it'd say, I'm Warren Mawson, pro wrestling YouTube reviewer, for example. Or if I was a gymnast, it would say, Anwar from the world famous Anwar and Mawson, gymnast, UK, etc. Or athlete, they all said athlete and stuff like that. Athlete, personal guest, trainer, stuff like that. So yeah, you'd see these people and it was quite exciting being this close to the, the first one. And I was like, oh, should I go up to her? Should I speak to her? Should I ask for an autograph? Should I ask for a picture? The thing was, I didn't really know who she was. I didn't really want to make a scene with all these people in public and then have a lot of people rushing over to try and get pictures with her. Because this poor girl, she was just minding her own business, walking around. So I thought, no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it to her own, her own devices. Anyway, then my bro me and my brother, we go for something to eat. And I sat there saying to him, oh, listen, I, I wish I got a picture with that girl now in hindsight. Because it might be the only one I see all day. He's like, oh, I'll leave it. You'll see loads. I didn't believe him. A few minutes later, two huge women come, come walking past us. I think they were from Germany or Holland. I think it was Holland, actually. They must have been like volleyball players or something, but they were huge women. And I was thinking, bloody hell, these athletes are all over the place. So yeah, I thought to myself again, oh, should I get a picture then? I thought, no, same thing, don't really know who they are. Not that interested in them in, in complete honesty, but I was not that starstruck by that, that feeling of, wow, this person's quite important, this person's an athlete here at the Olympics. This is quite a big deal. Because personally, I see one of the, the heights of... Um, social being to be an athlete personally and especially an athlete at the Olympic Games that's the that's the highest the high in my opinion I don't care how much of politicians or millionaires or stuff like that they can get us a fuck TV stars actors they're alright but Olympians they're amazing to me I'm I'm a huge sports fan so to me this is so amazing being close to these people not knowing who they are but knowing they're someone famous it's like oh should I get a picture but nah I didn't want to Thought, no, I don't really know the ad, don't really want to bother them. So we go to the event. Woman's freestyle wrestling. Now, as a pro wrestling fan, of course, I was not too familiar with the rules. Beforehand, they play this video to tell you about it. Then, while we're there, we start to notice a load of Japanese people start getting in, in our, uh, well, basically all around the stadium. And my brother, because he, he lives in Japan, so that is, you know, conversating with him and uh, basically he found out that one of the, the main women who was going to be in the contest was uh, called, one second, I got it on my phone, Saori Yoshida. And Yoshida was a prospect for gold. So they all were here to support her, their countrymen, here to do well. And oh, she did it. The crowd was electric. For an arena that wasn't sold out, that there probably wasn't even that many people in there, maybe a a couple thousand, maybe five thousand, something like that. The place was absolutely buzzing when Yoshida won. The screams of adulation from the women, the cheers from the men, it was so fantastic being in there. And also take into consideration the place wasn't even full of Japanese people, there was just a percentage. They were so behind this woman, it was such a thing to be involved in. For me, somebody who's got nothing to do with freestyle wrestling, nothing to do with Japan, I got caught up in the moment. I wanted to support Yoshida. I really wanted to get behind her. And when she won it, I was so happy for her. I was so happy for these fans. You could see how happy they were. The guy next to me was shouting something. My brother leans over to me and said, whatever the word was, like, oh, that means congratulations, Japanese. And he was getting, like, tearful, the guy. Standing up saying, like, in, in Japanese, congratulations, congratulations to the woman. She can't hear him. He's 20 seats away. Still, Fantastic. My personal highlight was seeing um, the bronze medal match. Bronze medal match between someone from Colombia, I can't remember who the other one was, but basically the Colombian won, and she was so... You can see the, the, she was in a state of adulation. She just seemed buzzing about it. It was fantastic to see her. A, a coach went over to grab her to pick a rope, and he, she started wrestling him. It was hilarious. We all got a good giggle out of that. But yeah, she won the event, and I thought to myself, Do you know what? I like this woman. She she's cool. She's just she's won this event. Now she's playing around with a coach. She's she's basically probably fulfilled a lifetime goal here, of winning a medal at the Olympics. Fantastic. The fact is that they have two bronze medals sort of irked me a bit. That's one thing about women's uh, sorry freestyle wrestling that annoyed me was that the difference, the difference between freestyle and Greco-Roman is freestyle you can attack any part of the body, whereas Greco-Roman's upper body only. 
Now, it's best out of three rounds. If at the end of a round they're drawing, whoever's in the red, first of all, goes or well, in the first round, it was the red. In the second round, it's the blue. In the first, third round, I'm not too sure how they do it. But basically, the first round, if it's a if it's a tie after two minutes, the woman will go over to a bag, pick out a ball. It'll be unscrewed, and then there'll be another. There'll be a colour inside it. The colour will be shown. Whoever that colour is, red or blue, because they're all red versus blue. Whoever that is, will then get to pick one of the legs of the opposition. And attack now that say you chose my right leg my arms would have to be up in the air you get to grab my right whistle goes you grab no, you grab my right leg the, wh the whistle goes bam we start moving every time every time whoever grabbed that leg got the victory so it was basically look at the draw if it was a tie whoever picked out the bot whichever ball came out you were gonna win that round which is a stupid idea because it's best out of two ra best out of three rounds if you win a round like that, especially if it's the first round, you've got such a massive advantage going into the second round. It was pretty daft in my opinion. Uh, what was the other stupid thing I found about it? Well, yeah, two bronze medals. For some reason they decided to do two bronze medals in, in each event. I was a bit like, why? Surely you can have a final four, winning two go into the gold and, semi, gold and silver, losing two go into the bronze match. Whoever wins that gets the bronze. But no, they decided to do two bronzes. Don't really understand how it works. Um, while I was there, I did meet two gold medalists. I met Tarahiro Nomura, who is a three-time judo gold medalist for Japan, winning it in a 96 in uh, Atlanta, 2000 in Sydney, and 2004 in Athens. Now, this guy was super nice. When him, when him and the woman sat down next to him, oh, all the Japanese people started going crazy, taking pictures and all that. So my brother, speaking Japanese, spoke to the guy next to him and was like, oh, who are these people? And they, they explained to him. And because we were all asking for pictures, I thought, oh, come on, get, get a picture of me. So I, I went up and asked him for a picture. I don't think he spoke much English, but he was super nice to me. He was like, yeah, okay. And then I, point, I pointed out my brother. Like, uh, we got the picture done. Yeah, no, and then, like, um, he saw... He, he put his hand out to me to like say like say oh like um, sort of say I don't really know why he did it to be honest it was sort of a okay this is a completion of our picture now we've done it let's shake hands and then that's it and I, when I did it I said thank you and he was like oh okay no problem or whatever but he was it was he was super nice that was one thing I found especially because as we came in there I'd asked this Mongolian guy this huge Mongolian don't know what sport he was doing but um. You could tell he was an athlete. He was probably like a, one of the heavyweight wrestlers in the men's. I asked him for a picture. No, busy and walked off. And I was like, what a fucking asshole he was. But then this guy, triple gold medalist, sat in front of him. I'm, I'm bothering him at the end of the day. Super nice to me. Fantastic. I really like that guy. Again, repeating his name. Tadahiro Namura. I'll put a pictures of these down below. And also, the woman he was sat with, talking with all the way through it, was Taoko Takahashi. Now, my brother put these pictures on Facebook. And uh, all of his Japanese friends were going mental, like, oh my god, I can't believe you met these people. They are super famous in Japan. If that was, if that was me, I would have been going mental. And we were like, oh, we don't really know who these people are. But they, they seem famous. And because they told us they were gold medalists, I wanted a picture with them. Because, you know, I thought, why not? Might as well get one. I, I've, I decided not to with the others and got this one. She was called Naoko Takahashi. She won the marathon in... Sydney 2000, she won gold for Japan, so that's fantastic, I met, I met these two gold medalists, they were both super nice, she didn't seem to speak any English at all, I sort of went up to her and said, picture, and she pointed my brother out again, and she just like nodded at me, and then like nodded again when I'd finished, and I thought, these people are really polite, Japanese society for you, eh? But yeah, I want to know your guys' opinions, what do you guys think of the Olympics, let me know, have you been there, sat there watching all the Olympics, or obviously, must have been working, but you guys been paying a lot of attention to the Olympics. Are you guys one of the some of the people who are like, oh, I hate the Olympics. Get it off my TV. I'm not interested because I understand both ways. Like I'm like that when when it's stuff like the royal wedding or the jubilee or something. And there's loads of this stuff on TV. I'm like I don't want to see Prince William get married. I don't give a fuck. You know, he's just some random stranger. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of amateur wrestling. 
Freestyle wrestling especially. Have you seen freestyle wrestling? Are you familiar? What do you think of those rules that I told you about? Hmm, bit strange, aren't they? But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, suggestion time. I want to know your guys' suggestions. What would you like me to do a video on? I'm planning on doing a Survivor Series um, review series. That'll start closer to the event, closer to this year's Survivor Series. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Touch wood and all that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys want me to do a video on. Um, and if it's something I think I can do, then I'll do it. So yeah, with that, I'm out. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you very soon with another video.